What's poppin? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to another video. Yes, your boy is pumping out the content one every three days. So make sure to subscribe and like this video if you're a supporter of my wife. But you know, your boy TJ is trying to educate you all. They want to know how I did it and how to be successful because a lot of traders attempt the challenge where FTMO is a company that you will pay a certain amount of fee. You know, you've got the 10K funded account, the 20K funded account, 35K funded account, 70K funded account, and 140K funded account. Now, you will pay to do these challenges. In the challenge, you must get 10% within the first month. You obviously have a max daily loss of 5% every day that you cannot go over, otherwise they will completely exit you from the challenge. Yes, they will keep your money. It's difficult, you know, this stuff isn't easy. So in this video, I will be explaining my strategy personally as I am funded with over a 200K account and I haven't just done that in one go, you know, I've done a few challenges right here as you can see. Your boy TJ will help you with this. If you wanna get in any of the trades like these right now that we've entered in VIP, then link in description, click on the bot, slash start and see the packages. They are really, really cheap right now. We've got a special offer on the free month and the year list. Make sure to check that out. But without further ado, I'm going to teach you risk management, how to pass FTMO, to pry you with the goods. So without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Starting off the video, obviously you've got to find a trade. Now, I'm just going to make it so simple and basic. Today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I took a trade. EUR Great British Pounds, yes. This pair we are selling off right here. As you can see, five pip SL. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you do not understand about risk to reward, listen up. Because the fact that the matter is, this trade has got a five pip SL. I've got a 40 pip take profit and a 50 pip take profit. That is 90 pips combined on this trade. Ladies and gentlemen, the risk to reward is 18 to 1. 90 divided by 5 is 18. That is an 18 to 1 risk reward. So if I win this trade and I'm risking 1% on this trade, then I will make 18% back. So if you've got a 100K funded account and you're risking 1%, you could honestly pass this account with just this trade. This is what it's running right now. It's on my screen, 0 0.86800. That is 15 pips in profit. With two positions, that's 30 pips. Ladies and gentlemen, 30 divided by 5 is what? It's 6. That's 6%. Only need another 4%. Now, my strategy would be to do 0.5% risk at the start. The reason why I say this is because you need to understand that when you start FTMO, you have to get into profit straight away. Otherwise, you are going to be in drawdown. Now, drawdown is something that you do not want to happen in FTMO because they would take that as they're losing their own profits on this account. And therefore, you will be minus whilst in drawdown. Your max daily loss will be affected. Even though you haven't lost that money yet, it counts as losing that money because you're, you're technically, you are, you, you know, you're in minus, you know, the trade's running minus. You've got to look out for that, okay? You must look out for this. This is why I say 0.5% at the start of the challenge. Because then if the trade comes in and you make some decent percent, that percent can be used to risk as freely as you want. Because you are not going to get any max daily loss taken off your actual funding account. Now, this is just a challenge, okay? You're doing a challenge, you need to try and make 10%. But you don't want to go minus straight away because it will play on your mindset. It will mesh up everything that you want to do and trust me look at you are great british pound i'm sorry but look at this entry was here five pip sl absolutely flying at the moment now you know this is a trade it's a trade that any of you guys can take and you know I, i'm gonna stop the video quickly but you guys can take these trades you know i even post it in the free discord because i want people to be able to understand you know it's all about risk reward and risk management and that's when i get on to my next topic about risk management ladies and gentlemen boys and girls if you are using same lot sites please 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 use a risk management app calculate the currency pair the sl how many pips it is for your stop line and calculate that with the risk percentage of your account, 0.5 to 1% per each trade, and then utilize that because it will calculate the specific lot size to use on that currency pair. It is so important, you know, a lot of new traders will come to me, TJ, why am I in this group? You know, they've got 70 to 100 pip sell. Guys, that is not how you trade. Like, they are not full-time traders. They are not there trading full-time with 70 to 100 pip SLs 
using risk man like you guys on a nor like using a 0.20 you you literally lose so much money on that sl because it's not risk managed correctly yeah i can have a 70 pip sl risk managed one percent and only lose one percent of my account I will obviously put something on the screen here and it's called Stinu. Unfortunately, they do charge, okay? They never used to charge. Only recently, this year, they started charging cheeky bastards. But there are free risk management apps online that you can use. And all you've got to do is copy what it's doing right here, right now. You've got to put the account size, the percentage of risk and the pips, how many pips of stop losses. And it will generate the lot size you should use to risk 0.5 or 1%, whatever risk you put on on that account on that specific pet that is risk management and that is ftmo now with the strategy of ftmo like i previously touched at the start of this video you must start with 0.5 percent calculate it perfectly if you're running 0.5 percent or one percent profit take it and then risk the one percent therefore you are playing with profits you are not risking your own balance what i want to say is that a lot of people they say you know you've got min 10 days to trade People fail FTMO or any of these challenges within the MIM requirements because it plays on their mindset. It messes up their psychology and plays with their emotion side of things. And this is where you must understand as a trader, it says minimum 10 days, maximum one month. Please understand, if you are in profit on FTMO, and you, but you have not passed, but at the end of the month you are in profit, you get to retake the challenge for free clean slate clean month for free however individual traders who are new to this even if they're not even new to trading they will risk the ftmo they will spam trade they will enter double risk they will do all sorts of messed up stuff as a trader to try and pass it within those 10 days however they do not know and a lot of traders do not know this who take ftmo that if you if you do not fail it but you're in profit even if you're in profit by a pound you get to retake it for free, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, which is a little, you know, a little lesson if you didn't know that already. I hope that helped you with, with the whole understanding of there's no need to rush the challenge. Three days later. Hope this helps you have a better understanding about FTMO, the strategy I actually take personally to actually complete these FTMO accounts. As I said, you need to look for a trade that you can get sniper entry in with zero drawdown and take effect on the risk reward. You need good risk reward. Take profits early if you're starting a challenge and it's your first time because the profits are key in FT America. You don't want to take a lot of losses. You want to take good, quick profits and build that account up. Like you would starting from a small account, growing it to a big account. You wouldn't hold your trades for that long. You would take the profits early and then work with your profits as, as the risk. So then, therefore, you are not risking their money. But it has been your boy TJ. If you want any advice, the Discord is down below. Link in description. And also hit me up on Instagram. That is the Instagram. DM me if you need my help. As I say, I stream every single day. I am on the Discord every single day. We've got a community on there as well where all the traders talk about it, talk about markups. If you need help, just join that. You know what I'm saying? But it is your boy TJ. Much love on the video. I hope everyone stays safe. Stay safe trading. Do not fail this challenge and change your life. But it is your boy TJ. Much love. Take it easy. Happy.